Tuesday today and as always we're going to try out different budget makeup things and today we're going to do applicators and it's going to be about foundation applicators so I have done a video before with foundation applicators where I tried two different ones and that was oval brush and a beauty blender beauty blender okay anyway so today we're gonna do beauty blender again this is how the package looks like versus this I know I'm really late to this but I only saw this a couple of months ago and I finally have the time to actually do it so this is gonna be great to just try out and see how it looks like so anyway so we're gonna start with the uh, beauty blender this is pretty much the same kind of beauty blender that I already have uh, why I bought this was because I thought that my other one was gone which it was until I found out where it was so this is how it looks like it is spongy as you can see it's orangey it has this flat surface I'm not really sure what you're actually supposed to do with that but uh, I always apply my foundation on this surface but I'm not sure if that is correct but that's how I do it um, anyway so that's the beauty blender now let's go into this thing that I have no clue what it is it's very soft though let me see here let's open it up okay it is very soft as you can see I like the color though. I really like this color. This is sort of my favorite color, but it, it should be a little bit lighter than this, and then it's my favorite color. But anyways, it feels like this one is softer than the ones that I've seen on the internet. I also noticed that when you bend it, it sort of ripples. Can you see that? It ripples, and it, the ripple doesn't go out at once. So that's a little bit, hmm, that's a little tricky. Other than that, you know what it looks like? It looks like one of those things that you stick in the bra to fill out a little bit if you need to do that. Anyways, let's go. For this, I am going to use my foundation that I usually use. This is number 010 Shell. And I actually buy these at Lidl, which you can find around in Europe. Anyways, so let's put up my hair. I went ahead and dampened the beauty blender and it did change in size quite greatly. So I think I'm going to start with the beauty blender and just damp that around on my face with the with this and then I'm going to use this one and do it on this side. Now what are my expectations? My expectations oh, my expectations are that this one will apply more of the foundation than this one will do because this one will suck in most of the foundation so it doesn't really put in uh, evenly. That's my ex expectations. Um, hopefully this also makes it go a little bit more smoothly on because of the smooth surface. We will see, we will see. Let's start with this one. Okay, it's not much that you can say about it, it's just a normal sponge, you know, so I've just applied it and it just goes on the way that it usually goes on when I apply on it. Anyways, let's go over to the other applicator. It feels like I have to be a little bit more careful with this one because it doesn't suck in as much so I really shouldn't have taken as much as I did but oh wow it's too late now. Okay, 
So I am now done. This is how much that's on the sponge, and this is how much that is left on, I mean the sponge. This is how much that is left on this one. I'm not really sure what this is one is called even. Anyways, this is how much residue there's left. It's not a lot. It's just a little bit of stain. And this one has like 50% inside of the sponge. Anyways, so what are my thoughts? Well, first of all, using this one, you need to think about how much you put on. That's what I've noticed. I noticed that quite a lot. Because this one is, side is a lot darker, while this one is a little bit lighter. This one, though, sucks in most of it, so it's not as... You can see it's not as covered on this side as in this side. So I will say this is definitely a buy. This is something that you should definitely try out for yourselves before deciding not to buy this. Um, because, I mean, it could save you a ton of money using foundation, because... Most of the foundation actually end up in the side, inside of this. So this one is flawed in many ways because of that. Anyways, this is the video of today. I have to turn, I have to end this video quite abruptly because my battery is running out. Um, you guys have a very, very nice day and I'll see you guys next time.